To me, the front porch is one of the most important spaces. Whether you have a stoop or a porch or a grand entrance, you need to make it welcoming for the people who are coming to your home, as well as in these times for yourself when you arrive to your home. I like to do my summer porch in a red, white, and blue theme, and this stays out the entire summer. We actually just painted our house and are still in the middle of it. We need to paint our deck, so just ignore the decking. But I thought you'd like to see how the house looks now. And you can see to the left of the door, we put in new light fixtures that we absolutely adore. They were not expensive, proving you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your home welcoming. I'm pointing out there are milkman crates. <laughs> Those always have to stay there, though they might be unattractive. I don't usually show the outside of our house, but now that it's painted and pretty, I thought you'd like to see how the paint turned out. We just have a 1980s split level, and it did have some trim all over the front, kind of in a grid pattern, and we just painted over all of that to make it all one color. It is now Collingwood by Benjamin Moore. As you enter our home, you step onto our landing, which I recently redid. I will link that video above. I am planning on repainting in the next year, so I didn't do a ton, but I wanted to bring the coastal feeling that is in my family room to the rest of the house, and I started with this space. Ignore the tape on the front door. We are painting our front door, so that's what that painter's tape is all about. But I just used things that I already had and repurposed them for this space. And this is what it looks like when you get to the top of the stairs. When you come up the stairs, this is what you see. We have a great room that is our kitchen and dining and living room. And then we have an addition which is built off to the side, and that is what we call our family room. Our home is very much in transition right now because of the pandemic. All of our children have returned home, which is wonderful, but it does make for filming a house tour a little bit interesting. So I didn't do a ton of redecorating for the summer. I just added touches here and there. This is a DIY that I did and it's just a ball jar and I use it to keep some fun straws. This is our smoothie station. The kids use this spot all the time to make smoothies. And here's our little coffee station. It's not much, but it serves us very well. I have my vintage canisters that I absolutely adore. I found them at the Goodwill outlet bins and gave them a good shining and they serve us great. We have several different types of coffee pods and coffee grinds. And these little creamers are now for my teas and my water flavors, which we also use all the time. On top of the cabinets, I've put some of my favorite strawberry pieces, my pitchers, for display. I'm hoping by my next home tour in the fall that I will have painted these cabinets. That is definitely on the short list for this summer. This living room space is getting a big makeover shortly so i didn't have much to show you here but i did want to show you my simple coffee table display it's just a work caddy that i found at the goodwill outlet bins as well as some cool thrifted pots that i also found at the bins or at yard sales and i've put in some shoots from house plants to grow them there they're doing very well and this is what the space looks like right now, but I promise you it will be much changed by the time you see it in the fall. One space that hasn't changed very much is this bookcase, and it won't be changing. I love this bookcase. It's my favorite thing to decorate. This is where I let my creativity go. I do lots of vignettes on each shelf, and I let it be as cluttered as I want because <laughs> I love all of these things. Stealing the show for me right now is my vintage thermos collection. I absolutely love thermoses. I 
love this old casserole holder that I thrifted with a bunch of old books in it and all I needed to do to get it ready for this tour was to take out the green books from spring and add in some red and blue ones. And bingo, you have red, white, and blue decor. In the center of the great room is our kitchen island. It is an L shape. It was here when we moved in. There used to be a wall here and they took it down and put in this island. I love to decorate my tiered tray here. It's a way for me to get some decor in the middle of the room. I made my tiered tray out of some galvanized pieces that I found at yard sales last year and a rolling pin from the Dollar Tree as well as some feet that I found at a yard sale. I think this little milk glass top hat is perfect for 4th of July decor. I was thrilled to put it on my tiered tray this year. I've had it and have been holding on to it for this purpose for an entire year. The key to good tiered tray decor is to make sure it looks good on both sides and that's especially important in my case because you can see it very well from both sides. So I made sure that I decorated the back side of it too. And of course I used another thermos, which I just found at the thrift store. And this tray on the island is a great place to display some of my favorite strawberry pieces. I am now limiting my collection to pitchers and little jam pots. One of the biggest changes in the house is my new dining table. I found it on Facebook Marketplace during the pandemic and I just love it. It is North Carolina furniture, solid oak. I am not painting it. I don't mind oak, I think it's beautiful. It does have another leaf to extend. I've placed this Lazy Susan in the center of the table. This is from Ikea. Originally I painted it black. The little plaid piece is from Target. And I love that it allows me to put a little bit of decor on the table that is easily movable when we need to move it. This area of the dining room is going to be getting a big makeover. I am going to get rid of my roosters and move the coastal theme into this room as well. But for now, I left them alone because I didn't have time to do it before this tour. I really enjoy decorating the top of my hutch I've done it in a patriotic theme, and then I've placed some other strawberry pieces in the hutch. I am going to be painting the hutch, so I didn't want to do too much because I knew I would be undoing it. The only thing that's changed over here is that I have this lovely 1976 calendar that was sent to me by a friend hanging. The other big change to the house has been that we rearranged the furniture in the family room to better accommodate our daughter who uses this as her dance studio now. So all of her classes went on Zoom and she needed a place to dance. We moved those blue chairs over to the window and then we placed the couches in an L shape. We actually really like this setup for watching movies especially. Nothing much has changed on these shelves which my husband hung for me in the spring, but they hold my Ironstone collection and I just like to show them so I thought I'd put them in here. The little dresser in front of it is one of my favorite places to decorate. It's fun to decorate flat surfaces. This is a vintage patterns box that I got from a friend and I decided to put some flower frogs and flags on it. And on the other side is a flag cross stitch project that I've had for years and then none of the other decor changed. I recently found this two-tiered tray at a thrift store. It's from Hobby Lobby originally and I really love it in this room. I love the weathered wood look. My intention is to fill that aqua teacup with some little cream colored grapevine balls that I have but I can't seem to locate them. I have my little flip-flop sign and a jar of sea glass from the Jersey Shore. I love to change my mantle each season and I went with the coastal theme for this season. 
my orchid is losing its blooms very sad i did forget to water it while i was sick last week i got this mirror recently off of facebook marketplace but it, they have them on Wayfair for about $150 and I paid 20. I also found this beautiful wooden lantern on Facebook Marketplace for $5. I couldn't make it for that cheap. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I've changed up some of my decor for summer. Until my next video, thanks for watching.